What's going on guys, it's Danny here and this is gonna be a ranked game commentary. It's Sunday so it's time for this type of video. We got this game and uh, I really hope to see uh, an interesting game as always. Um, there are some picks so far. Dyer has a Klings, Bounty Hunter, Queen of Pain, Omni Knight. Damn! There are two Invis heroes and a very good gank potential with the Quop Klings bounty. Um, Omni Knight is going to be a support, and uh, I guess a roaming bounty offlane Queen of Pain. Meepo! Meepo. Damn! Shadow Demon, Meepo, Kunkka, Leshrak. Kunkka is a hero that you don't see very often, but it can work. I mean, if the player is good, if it's a good player, why not? Okay, the last pick is Earthshaker, so that makes me think... Did he random? No, no one randomed. At least I don't see it here. So... What mid lane Quop, safe lane Klings, off lane Earthshaker, and roaming Bounty. Um, it's going to be Leshrac mid on the Radiant team for sure because Leshrac is like <laughs> the best hero, one of the best heroes of the current patch, and one of the best mid lane heroes of the current patch. So uh, yeah, of course. Of obviously, it's going to be a mid lane a Leshrac. And uh, Meepo, what is Meepo going to do? Shadow Demon Kunkka, by the way, is... Uh, it used to be a very popular combo. It used to be a combo that people played a lot before in the past. Um, so basically, this uh, sh Shadow Demon disrupts someone. And then Kunkka torrents. This one is and uh, so you have the torrent bad. damage and then the slow and the uh, illusions from disruption and then uh, two or three people hitting the disrupted target so it really is a good combo it really can kill people very easily um, I like that he bought a dust there are two invisible so heroes in the dire team battle. dust is a must-have item in this game even in the beginning as a starting item um, I I'll always buy dust against the bounty Brute mother. Not always about Klinks. If you are support um, and Klinks is safe lane, you won't be ganking him much. So, uh, not always against the Klinks, but Bounty Hunter roams. This is a nice fissure blocking everyone, but now Bounty is just gonna die. And that's it. First blood for Meepo. Queen of Pain took the rune, Klinks could the top rune. So Dire team took both bounty runes, but Radiant got the first blood, so I guess it's kinda good for the Radiant. <laughs> That's the first blood right there. You get extra gold, 200 extra gold for, for the first blood, on top of the normal gold that you get from the kill. So. That's huge. Um, okay, so um, Bounty Hunter is going to be roaming mid. Bounty Hunter bought sentries. This is something else. Bounty Hunter buying sentries so he can deward the enemy sentries. Like, if you want to be annoying in a Dota 2 game, um, you pick Bounty Hunter and you buy sentries. There are many ways of being annoying, but um, what this guy did is very smart because the enemy wants to have a sentry mid so they see him when he roams and tries to kill a Shrak. But if he buys his own sentries, he can kill this ward. And now Le Shrak doesn't know where if Bounty is here, he, he has no idea where Bounty is, and he has to play scared on the lane. And Queen of Pain is already getting an advantage. He has 8 last hits, and Leshrac has 2 last hits, and uh, this is already an advantage for Queen of Pain. So mid lane is basically something like a 2v1, and Kunka is trying to get some roaming, 
he's going for the bounty rune and bounty hunter is coming as well invisibility, invisibility. nice but they know he took invisibility top lane is clinks with the uh, omni knight support clinks is a hero that can solo even if it like clinks is good in a duo lane um but clinks is also very good in a solo lane um with a support like an omni knight in a duo lane omni knight being a support he doesn't offer that much for example compared to a skyrat mage skyrat mage is one of the best supports for zoning out and the uh, earthshaker is dead by the way it's a tri lane against earthshaker he gets the disruption off followed by the torrent followed by the ensnare from meepo and they also have uh, they also have split earth they have uh, Leshrak stun to follow they have so much stuff to follow after the shadow demons disruption so this is a very good game for shadow demon shadow demon is a support that you don't see very very uh, very you like Impugned. you don't see usually but in this game everyone except wind ranger has good follow-up after the disruption well wind ranger can also cast a power shot on the disruption but it's not like a disable it's not that big of a follow-up compared to the other heroes I like how Meepo is sitting one one Meepo on the mid lane because bounty hunter is roaming mid a lot and there is an Earthshaker here now and uh, if they try to go for Leshrak Meepo can go and uh, just counter gank he can ensnare people and then poof and kill them and meanwhile he's trying to stack which is a very good very good efficiency very good very good Meepo player so far um, Bounty Hunter, of course, it's going to s cancel the stack. He just stays there and blocks the camp. And now Bounty Hunter is here as well, and they saw him. So this is going to be Torrent, and Bounty is dead. This is the second time Bounty Hunter dies, and he's still level 1 at 4 minutes in. So, of course, he's blocking the camp, so no stacks. He did, he did help harassing Leshrak in the beginning but now I think he should take care of his experience because he's only level 1 at 4 minutes he's getting really really under leveled and bounty hunter is very good for roaming early on but you have to make sure that you don't get under leveled if you see it's not working out it's better to go to, a, to the offlane and just start getting experience Okay, Fissure doesn't really matter because Meepo is gonna kill him anyway. And Bounty... Dust is on cooldown for two seconds. He did dust him. He's inside the trees. And... They are not going to kill him. They can't find him right now. Meepo is too low on HP. It's a bit risky. Can you imagine how good could have been an Earth, sh Earth Spirit? Um, no, Spirit Breaker. Oh, is this going to be a kill? Nope. Earthshaker is only level three. Earthshaker is getting wrecked as well. Both Earthshaker and Bounty Hunter are getting destroyed. Earthshaker is only level three, and uh, man, under leveled Earthshaker is not good. With Earthshaker, you don't you don't only want experience. You also Radiant want gold to be able to buy that blink. So so far, um, Dire team is trying to roam a lot, but Radiant is playing very well. They are carrying a lot of detection. A very nice follow up with the Leshrak stun and Queen of Pain. No blink. It's on cooldown. So nice gank by the Kunkka. This is going to be another gank and no detection. Oh man, the Sentry Ward is here, and he ran out of the vision of the sent out of the range. 
Klings should try to help Omni. He's tipping out here. Okay, that's cool. No problem for him. Wind Ranger hasn't died yet a single time. He's doing much better than the Dire offlane. And this tower is about to get destroyed. This is going very, very poorly for the Dire team. There is more than 2,000 gold advantage already. It's probably 3,000 gold advantage. Five minutes into the game, I mean seven minutes into the game, it's 5-0 for the Radiant team. And this is because they are contesting, you know? Bounty Hunter roaming is good and could be effective if people know how to do it. And what the enemy has to do is contest that, and they have done a great job for that so far. Wind Ranger is going to save the Wind Run. He's still going to die though. Klings, one more auto attack. Queen of Pain gank on the top lane. Very nice. One kill. First kill of the game. 335 gold. And the gold they get is a lot because the difference in the net worth, the team net worth, is so huge. He's gonna get stunned. X mark, torrent. And he's gonna die because Blink is Blink was on cooldown. So Kunka is no, a hero that you don't see very often nowadays, but as you can see, this guy is doing so much work with it so far. And Leshrak <laughs> hits the stun on Omni Knight. Omni Knight is dead. I didn't see if Repel was on cooldown or not, but no Repel. He gets the stun. Omni Knight is Omni Knight is a not bad pick here. Omni Knight is a good pick here. Because everything that Leshrak has except the Edict is magical damage. And by the way, he just died. So no streak. And Queen of Pain got 600 gold for killing Leshrak. This is huge. The comeback gold they are getting is insane right now. And I like a lot that Klinks is rotating. I like that Klinks is coming to the mid lane and helping his team kill people. Because if he AFK stop, his team is going to keep losing the game. Because Shadow Demon and Kunka are doing a lot of roaming and just killing a lot of people everywhere on the map. So now Wind Ranger is going... He should TP out. He's gonna die for sure. Actually, that's a nice shackle. And he's going to turn it around. Okay, X marks the spot. Power shot, not even needed. It's enough. A very good TP by Kunka. Coming to the top lane, getting kills. I thought the Wind Ranger is going to die because if Kunka didn't TP in, Wind Ranger probably would have died. That was a good shackle too. Even if it's a only level one shackle, it was a good one. So that's an initiation on Leshrak. Look at the right click from from Klinks. It's insane, man. The level four searing arrows with the medallion. Medallion right after boots is a very good one. Without even power threats, just boots and medallion. You don't hit very fast, as you can see, he doesn't have much attack speed, but he hits really hard. So that matters a lot. So as I said already, Omni Knight is a pretty nice pick here. Uh, with the repel, he gives people free BKB. Um, and Repel counters Leshrak to be honest, because other than the Edict, Leshrak spells are magical damage, everything magical except the Edict. So that kinda counters him, having a BKB against Leshrak counters him, and having a, having a Repel counters him as well. Having a Repel counters him as well. Okay. He's not gonna get shackled. Dust didn't reveal him. If the dust revealed him, Kunka would have gotten the X marks, the spot off. And then Torrent, Ghost Ship. Kunka with Arcane Boots. Okay, so sometimes when Kunka was played as a support, 
later on they wanna transition into kind of a semi carry, you know, building a little bit of damage. But getting arcane boots shows me that this guy just wants to support. It's just support. And arcane boots is good on a support Kunka. Oh, what a stun! Blink out. X mark on Omni Knight. Repel yourself. He couldn't. This is going to snowball out of control. Earthshaker. Oh, the last pick was Earthshaker because of Meepo. Earthshaker is a counter of Meepo. But uh, imagine what a Spirit Breaker would have done as a last pick. I think it would have done a lot. It would have increased their ganking potential even more. Because right now it's pretty good with the Queen of Pain, Clings and Bounty Hunter. The Radiant team supports are just playing very, very well in this game. They are doing tons of work so far. Like all the dust, the sentries, the observer wards going together instead of going alone. They are playing very, very well so far. And Leshrak is getting close to that Bloodstone and then with the Bloodstone he farms really, really fast. So, Leshrak Gaming. Alright. Also, I like that Bounty Hunter is carrying sentries because it's the same story like in the beginning. You can deward the enemy's sentries. Oh no. Repel, 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 repel. It's too late. Oh, that's a very nice, very nice scream. I mean, Sonic Wave. But it didn't do much. They should not fight. Dire team should not be fighting right now. They need a blink on Earthshaker. That's actually all they need. Queen of Pain not having much farm is okay. Clinks. Clinks should have farm. Bounty Hunter not, f not having much farm is okay. By the way, he's level 3, level 4 at 14 minutes into the game. This is how bad this game is going for the for the dire. There is 7,500 gold advantage for the radiant. And uh, wait, what? 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 Meepo died. Double kill for Klings. And Kunka died as well. And this is going to be a triple kill for him. Oh my God. I definitely would love to see this again. I would love to see this. So basically there is a dire ward here. So they know Radiant is doing Roche. And the uh, Earthshaker with the Fissure is going to stun them all. And then Echo Slam. Oh man. So he killed Meepo. Leshrak got killed by Klinks, Kunka got killed by Klinks, and later on Shadow Demon also gets killed by Klinks. Very nice repel, very very nice repel on Earthshaker by Omni Knight, because that stops the damage from the poison. Otherwise Earthshaker would have di would have died to Shadow Demon's poison, and uh, they got Roshan. They did kill Roshan, and who got the Aegis? Queen of Pain. Okay. So after the team wipe, they killed Roshan and they got the Aegis on Queen of Pain. But the pressure continues. No one said the pressure is going to stop. But this fight on Roche and killing the Roche is huge for the for the Dire. This could be the comeback. He has, uh, yep, magic one, 17 charges. Kunka is going to die as well. He's going to start losing HP now from the bold buff. And Omni Knight dies to Shadow Demon, Kunka dies as well. Kill him! Nope! Okay. Aegis of the Immortal. 
no mana on Shadow Demon for anything. He's just going to die to one right click. And there we go, double kill for Queen of Pain. And by the way, on the other part of the map, there was a Kling killing Leshrak and uh, Kling killing Meepo. Meepo's monster kill for Klings. So now he's going to make an Orchid. Oh my, this could be like one of the biggest comebacks ever. Because they were losing really, really hard in the early game and now... Now this might be the comeback. Bounty Hunter is finally level um, level 7 right now. Bounty Hunter is level 7. He hugs the truck. So it's time to get some truck kills. They are really, really needed. More gold from truck. More gold. More gold because they are a bit behind. in the. Actually the net worth, the difference in net worth is 0 almost right now. It's almost zero. Queen of, I mean, Wind Ranger is going to die to the Orchid damage. So there is an Orchid on Klinks. What you see nowadays on Klinks is uh, Desolator after Medallion. Desolate, actually, Desolator, Medallion, or both. I have done both on Klinks. And you get a lot of minus armor on the enemy, and they take a lot of physical damage. But in this game, both are not really needed, I guess. As soon as you have one of them, you are good. Because Queen of Pain is not really physical damage hero. You know, he has pure and he has a Scream of Pain for nuke. Queen of Pain right clicks a lot as well, but it's not only right click, like clinks. It's not like clinks. And this is not... Oh, there is the Blink Dagger by Earthshaker. Echo Slam on Meepo. And... Uh, Fissure, yep, there is the kill on Kunkka. Klings didn't even die. And this is probably the comeback. This is probably a comeback right here. And they might start having some advantage now. Leshrak is gonna get picked up as well. Bloodstone, he suicided with Bloodstone, very nice. Omni Knight used the GA, the Guardian Angel. But Shadow Demon is just going to die. This, this Roche fight, what went wrong for the Radiant team is the Roshan when they got wiped. And after that, they started going alone. What the, dire, what the Radiant team should do is go together as five. Because in the very beginning of the game I pointed out how good Dyer's team gank potential is. Like, Klinx is one of the best heroes for ganking. He's invisible and he hits really hard. Like, he, if he catch, if Klinx catches you alone, you are dead. Bounty Hunter at this point is really under-leveled and really under-farmed. So he can't really kill anyone alone, not even the supports. But uh, still, he can help Klinx kill. And also, you have a Queen of Pain. She has a blink. She can blink out of nowhere. And... She can nuke you with Scream of Pain, Sonic Wave, Dagger, S Shadow Strike I mean, and uh, she also has a Yules. Klings is going to die here now, unless Earthshaker TP is in right now, or Earthshaker is here. Echo Slam? Echo Slam is on cooldown and no mana, so they should just go back, and Klings dying there is not good. He lost his monster kill streak monster kill for Leshrak and he immediately bought items he bought a ghost scepter very very good choice very very good choice usually you see you will scepter on Leshrak after the bloodstone sometimes before the bloodstone the you will scepter on heroes like Leshrak and Lina helps you uh, hit your stun easier because you you just need a little bit of practice and uh, you will be okay with the timing, just practice the timing a little bit. But basically you, you will someone, and then it's easier for you to hit your stun. It's a lot easier to do it after the link, after the Yule Scepter than trying to hit it on a hero that's just moving around, you know, because they will be dodging it. Now Earthshaker has Echo Slam, Blink Dagger is up. 
And Klinks is going for a BKB next item, I think. They have a repel for Omni Knight, so this could be Desolator and not BKB. We will see. Um, this could be a Desolator as well. Wind Ranger with 4 staff. Uh, Meepo has Blink Dagger, Aghanim Scepter. Meepo has to be really careful. What Meepo wants to do is go around the map and farm. Like Meepo splits all the Meepos around the map and he farms with them. But this is what Dire team are good at. They are very good at ganking. So Meepos can, get, can easily get ganked the meeples that he's splitting up to farm and bounty hunter is going for a mech and it's actually up now mechanism mechanism arcane boots it's going to be a guardian greaves later that four stuff though torrent wait who has a four stuff wind ranger he tried to force shadow demon out but uh, he forced him in instead. A very nice blink. Radiance bottom tower is under right attack. now, Earthshaker has to be very careful with his Echo Slam. Earthshaker should save the Echo Slam right now. Because Echo Slam is the counter to five men is the counter to the five man Dota of the Radiant team. Echo Slam, Radiant's when people go together to push, Radiant's Echo Slam is going to kill them all. So he has to be very very careful to not, not waste it. Because if he uses the Echo Slam to fight right now, and they don't get a full team wipe, after that Radiant will be able to push because Echo Slam's cooldown is like 2 minutes and 10 seconds on level 2. 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Um, Kunka is going for a mechanism as well. I gotta try to play this Kunka. I love Kunka as a hero. I play that hero a lot. But um, I used to play, see, uh, to play him a lot like a year ago when he was mid lane and like a core hero. Nowadays if you wanna play Kunka it has to be as a support. There are so many st other stronger mid lane heroes that crush him on the mid lane and Kunka can't do shit on the mid lane nowadays. Unless you are very good with it. Attacker? There is a Kunka player called Attacker. I don't know what happened. I haven't seen him much on Kunkka lately. I actually haven't seen him at all. He used to stream, but nowadays I don't know if he even streams, to be honest. I totally... Totally haven't seen him. Okay. So this is what happens. This is what happens to you if you go alone. By the way, um, cool item for the Wind Ranger in this game might be Yule Scepter. Wait, Omni Knight? Leshrak? They are trying to fight here. For the Radiant team, um, Yule Scepter would be a not bad item because it can remove the silence from Orchid. And they should really go as 5. Radiant team really need to start 5 man Dota. With Meepo though, Meepo 5 man Dota. Uh, Against the Nurse Shaker is not very good. Wait, Leshrak is going to die again? Meepo can't really do anything right now. Echo Slam is on cooldown, but Meepo is gonna get focused by everyone. Middle tower is under attack. Oh Radiant my god, the comeback fire. is real. Wind Ranger, what are you doing, man? Oh, Meepo, please. Meepo, please. So the Dire team might have made a comeback. They started losing really hard, but now they made a comeback a little bit. It's still very hard for them to push. Because pushing high ground against Leshrak 
is very hard. He has a low cooldown, only 40 seconds nuke that keep, kills the creeps really fast. Oh, there is going to be a fight on this, Roche. This might be... This might be a game deciding fight or some shit. Omni Knight... Omni Knight is gonna get picked off. Unless he ulses him. Yes, he got the ulse off. Nice. And the stun. And now he's just going to die. Um, Earthshaker, Echo Slam is on cooldown for 10 seconds. I'm sure he would have jumped here. All the Meepos were in the same place. And Leshrac was there as well. He would have jumped in. Echo was not on cooldown. They have the Aegis of the Immortal. I don't see any reason to not fight here. The only reason they didn't fight is no Echo Slam. And that's okay, now the Echo Slam is up and uh, it will be saved for pushes or defend and stuff like that. Ghost Scepter. The reason why Ghost Scepter is good in this game is because of Klinks. Um, Klinks has only right click, right? For some heroes, you buy Ghost Scepter against them and then they wreck you with uh, magical damage. But Klinks doesn't have magical. He is only right click. So against Klinks, Ghost Scepter is very good. But you have to be very careful and that's a dead Meepo. A very good ward, very good vision right here. Um, they can see Meepo farming ancients, going for him, Echo Slam and... Uh, now they gotta go back to defend. There is an invisibility rune on the Shrak's bottle. Shadow Demon, Kunkka. Mm. Bounty Hunter. Guardian Greaves up. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Wait, they have no mana cost? Guardian Greaves has no mana cost? What? Now I notice. And Klinks hits really hard. Klinks hits extremely hard. You are trucked, bro. You gotta make sure that you don't die. Because you're going to be the only hope very soon. Okay, you will scepter to remove the truck. Very soon, very Radiance soon, Leshrac will be the only hope. Meepo with Sight of Vice Radiance and Blink. So he should look for some ganks, right? He should be looking for some ganks. With the Sight of Vice, Radiance he can solo kill anyone. But they are going towards the top lane. Okay, Leshrac tip it out already. Meepo is looking for those ganks. Smoke, ganks, nobody is there. They are going all together. There is a bounty hunter mid. And Meepo is going to cut the creep wave. So they can't push. Nice. This game is even right now. 5k gold advantage for dire team, but the game feels like it's even. Both teams have a lot of farm and Klinks found Meepo. Meepo is dead. Oh my god. They are everywhere. The dire team is everywhere. There is a bounty in your jungle. Bounty hunter is here. Looking for people to track them. Klinks is here. Farming. And... He found Meepo because he was farming his own jungle. Klinks was just farming his own jungle and he found Meepo. And now Leshrac is dead as well. It's just the the Radiant the, the Dire team is just everywhere. This Earthshaker with Blink, the Queen of Pain with Blink. Actually I don't think Spirit Breaker is a better pick than Earthshaker anymore. Um, I think Earthshaker was an excellent pick here. It's doing so much so far. I definitely think our shaker is good here. Bounty hunter. They are dewarding this. Roche. Roche is gonna be up after a few minutes. 
and Shadow Demon is dewarding as well. Like, the thing is that Dire is everywhere on the map. Just try. So, find me. What, what Radiant have to do, usually, what you do against people that can gank you very easily, like the Dire team in this game, what you do against them is go as 5. But at the same time, they have Earthshaker and, and Queen of Pain, and that makes their team fight very good as well. They are good at ganking, but they are also pretty decent at fighting as well. So it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard, actually. Leshraki is down to two Bloodstone charges. And uh, what you do against Klings and Bounty is you just go as five and carry detection. Uh oh, Meepo get, got picked off again, and his team is just pushing the base, trying to push the base. Nice shackle, but he deals no damage because he doesn't have a. He doesn't have an Aghanim Scepter. He went 4 staff BKB. No Aghanim Scepter. No damage at all. Wind Ranger has no damage at all right now. And Klinks is on a wicked 6 streak. The only one who escaped was Kunkka. So they need to get rid of, the, the, rid of this vision. Radiant team needs to deward this. Because if like they need to deward and they need to put sentries on common places like a sentry here and an observer ward here as well i don't see why not and sentry and observer here the thing is that the cores have to help the supports because if the support goes alone here he's going to die for sure the cores have to help the supports ward and D ward so on top of the scouting they are getting from two invisible heroes on top of that having good vision of the map is just so bad for the radiant and there is a shadow blade on earthshaker so one more invisible hero they really really have to and shadow demon was trying to ward maybe he doesn't have any ward, he was... I don't know what he was trying to do, but... And now Leshrak is going to die. He suicided with Bloodstone. One Bloodstone charge. This is turning into a disaster. This is turning into a big disaster for the Radiant. Meepo? Is Meepo going to jump? Echo Slam is still available. Earthshaker is not using the Echo Slam yet. He's saving it for Meepo. And this is the counter pop to Meepo. And having a having an Earthshaker and having the Echo Slam or heroes with AoE damage is not the only way of countering Meepo. You can also counter him with a lot of single target damage. Like Klinks. Clink silences one Meepo so it can't blink out or uh, poof out and then he also has a Hex so Clink just disables one of the Meepos and he right clicks really hard and he focuses and kills that Meepo really fast so uh, I don't see the Radiant team I, to be honest I don't know if the Radiant can win this game this is going to be this is going to be Earthshaker just walking around saying hello what's up he didn't try to kill them end this misery please oh my god don't give up never give up please <laughs> you're gonna defend anyway yep people who say end they defend
He is so dead. I don't think Radiant can win this game anymore. The Shackle shot doesn't even matter. Because Windrunner has no damage. This is why Windrunner is not a good offlane hero. It used to be at one point, but now it's not. Because Windranger needs a lot of farm. She needs to farm, she needs an Agonim Scepter. Leshrak is dead for 10 seconds and Meepo... Meepo got killed again. He can't go anywhere. Everywhere Meepo goes, he is just getting picked off. And... I don't know if Kunkka is trying to flame or blame the player. But it's not really the player. I don't know what Meepo would have... I don't know what Meepo can survive against Dyer's team. They, they, they just have... They are just insane. So much gank, so much pick off. So... So much damage on single target, both single target and AoE. They just have so much. Yep, you dead, bros. So basically that's it for this game and this video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, it helps out a lot. If you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Good luck and have fun playing Dota.